So, something missing here. Like a bunch of footage. Okay, here's the deal, guys. I done let the cat out of the bag and showed you all the new engine. I did that for a reason. <laughs> because normally what happens, I plug my camera into the computer. I download the master files from the camera onto the computer. I edit and chop them up, get what I want out of them. That gets transferred to another hard drive in a you know separate folder that I later take all those files and compile together and make a video out of. Well, here's the deal. After I take all the cuts out of the master video, I delete that file and save all the cuts. So, what's happened is <laughs> my hard drive crashed. I lost hours and hours and hours of footage, like part freaking one through six I had edited up ready to upload and I just haven't been uploading them yet I've been waiting until this thing was done and yeah I, I lost like so many damn parts and there, there I do have some master videos left that came off the camera that uh, you know that I wasn't done editing and clipping pieces out of and cropping or whatever trimming pieces out of however you say it so I do have some footage of the engine being built and I got a bunch of footage of cleaning it. <laughs> but as for putting the awesome new parts in the engine, yeah, all that footage is gone. Because that's like the first thing I upload that's the first thing I edited was all the good stuff. And then like the engine cleaning and stuff, I was gonna edit that together later, maybe speed it up and slow it down and some of the important stuff I did, but yeah, all this got screwed up and uh so yeah, there, there's fixing to be an awesome engine in this truck, but the wiring harness on this thing is just absolute garbage. I mean, what the hell? There's wires that plug into other wires that plug into other wires, and that plugs into other wires that runs my ignition. There's literally like 10 different freaking splices in between my distributor and God, probably more than that. Cause I don't even know where the hell that goes. It goes into that wiring harness into the dash, but I mean, it's just a mess. And it's all dirty, and that engine's all pretty looking. Like, I think I'm gonna have to paint that transmission and <laughs> paint the hole on each side of this truck, and clean up the wiring or rewire it or something before I can put this engine in here. Cause I just, I ain't put, I put too much time into that thing to stick it in this greasy, dirty pile of garbage. Like, I really like this truck, but it don't look pretty, and all the wiring's a mess, and there's too many things that's going to, like, touch my awesome engine I just built and get it dirty and scratch it up. Like, I just don't want that to happen. I've sunk my heart and soul into building this engine. Like, that's all I've been doing. Every spare moment of every day is working on this engine. I'd be damned if I'm going to put it in some greasy asshole like that. <clears throat> So yeah, there's lots of things that needs to be done before I can install that engine and fire it up. So y'all gonna get your video, y'all gonna see it, but for now, here is the last time this truck ever started, the last time the engine that was in here ever started. And then I'll put that with this video and then I'll start figuring out how to edit up what I got left somehow later, I don't know. Boy, that sucks really bad though, because I had some really good footage and like really important things I was trying to teach people about building engines and clearances and doing it the proper way and I mean, all the awesome parts I put in that thing and just no video of it. I'm so irritated. <laughs> but anyway, here's the last time this thing ever started and I will see you guys in the next video. Take her easy. Hi, how y'all doing? Well, it's a happy and a sad day today. But uh, this will be the last time this engine's ever started. As soon as I shut this video off, I'm pulling the bottom radiator hose and start pulling hoses off and start unhooking stuff. And this engine's got to go.
600 RPM idle. time this engine will ever be started up. Moving on to bigger and better things. See you all in the next video.